respuesta fue a propósito. Señor, se calla, se calla. No, en no. esta corte usted no va a insultar a nadie. La única que tiene el derecho a hacer eso soy yo. ¿Quiere a los hijos? ¿Usted no, quiere que los niños? Si se quiere divorciar, que se la, la puerta ¿Y está ¿Y qué tal los niños? La ¿Con quién van a vivir los niños? niños no se los lleva. Oh, pero ¿por, ¿por qué no? Que... Ya comienza una nueva sesión de la Corte de Familia con la juez Cristina Pérez. Live from Ontario Motor Speedway in Ontario, ca Canada, it is the Sax Kids 500, or maybe even Ontario, California. I'm not quite sure, but we're in Ontario Motor Speedway for today's race. Starting on the pole today, it is the 55 of Mason Wood. On the outside is the 9 of John Burton. Their times are like very are equal with each other, but I'm not sure how they decide how Mason Wood got the pole, so not sure how that will play out. Starting third is the 10 of Chris Harley, and fourth is the 48 of Austin Murillo. Fifth is the 24 of Max Skinner, debuting Pepsi Max colors, and sixth is 32 of Team Pony. Seventh is the 48 of William Duncan, and eighth is the 16 of Bianca Roberts. Ninth is the 13 of Madison Denhart, and rounding out the top 10, the 99 of Pichu. And now, without further ado, let's hear those famous words in motorsports. We've never raced at this track before, so I'm interested to see what kind of racing is in store for us. And Luke Walker debuting the new 11, co the 11 colors of blue, blue colors. Those are FedEx. That's FedEx office. And we're checking every car, and no, I don't think we have any problems. So, Mason Wood's going to lead the field for 26 laps of Canadian or California race in action. Whatever, wherever this place is. We're at Ontario Motor Speedway. That's what matters. Here we go. Green's going to be out. And the green flag is out. We're underway at Ontario. Right now. And Mason Wood got off to a great start. He's already in the, he's already pulling away. And now the 10 of Chris Harley has taken advantage and now he's in second. Max Skinner looking at the fifth spot away from Austin Murillo. And we off to lead the first lap. It's going to be whoa, they're close. And now William Duncan has gained ground a little bit on for the fifth spot. But Mason Wood will lead the first lap. And the caution is out. And the caution flag is out already in the first lap. What happened back there? Oh, wow. The 38, Lindsey Johnson, Jordan Davis, Sino Sameta, Maxwell Vatti. There's David Rochester, Sawyer Black. Might have been others, but wow. Let's see what happened back there. Probably the best view to get this is the helicopter view. So here's what happened to the first caution. The two of Richard Johnson, Clips Sawyer Black. No wait, there's the seven. The Leia Walker Clips Sino Simatetta. The 30 Sky Commons though, Clips 38, sends him to the wall and spins. And there's Leia Walker of Voltron. Yeah, Leia, and these guys get a good job avoiding it, unfortunately. For the ones from Stino Simatetta's view, they weren't weren't so lucky. Here it is again. Maxwell Vatti, Lindsey Johnson got a little too loose and spins out. David Rochester, Dylan Young spun out. Jordan Davis is clipped again. Lindsey and there, yeah, and that's pretty much the wreck. Others are held up back there. And whoa, Sawyer Black was just on his side at one point. And that was the first caution. I think there's no, nothing I, there's nothing else I could show you. 
and the <laughs> pace car is getting passed by cars like I don't know how that will work out the question is will anybody take pit stops it looks like Mason whoa now Mason was back in the line never mind that but will anybody take pit stops at this point because usually cars take pit stops at a time like this under caution and no cars are taking pit stops well, no notable cars are taking pit stops. None from the line are taking any stops. Well, there are cars taking pit stops, but yeah. There are cars taking pit stops, but those are the ones that sustain damage from the um, wrecks in the first caution. I'm surprised that, um, I'm a little surprised Leia Walker didn't get into the pits. She had probably, yeah, I'm surprised the 87 didn't get into the pits either, and these guys didn't. Don't know how they would survive out, but we'll see how that plays out later. And the only driver retiring from that wreck was Sawyer Black with a valve. He had the bit he had the worst of it. And David Rochester will be a lap down coming to the stripe, so I think this might mean that he might take the bottom line when the caught when the green flag comes out. I wonder how that will work out. Oh no, guess what? David Rochester has retired with an X, has retired from the race, so there'll be no lap cars taking the bottom. I thought he would be back as a lap down. I thought he'd be back on the track, but he's not going to come back. So he's done for the day at 42nd. He'll be dead last. Tough day for the 21 and the 34. Well, there's always next race. Anyway, in the meantime, let's get back to racing as I'm trying to get back to racing as soon as possible. Here we go, pace car is out, and here's your top five. Mason Wood, Chris Harley, John Burton, Max Skinner, William Duncan. And the green flag is out again here at Ontario, and for some reason I feel like the um, track is a little is shaking a little bit, moving, it's jumping up and down. Mason Wood is still the leader, but Chris Harley is getting a big, he's, he's getting big runs on the turns. William Duncan looking to get the fourth spot away from Max Skinner. These guys would be teammates in 24 and 48, by the way, in Hedrick Motorsports. Now Madison Denhart wants to make it three wide as we have a battle for the lead. Chris Harley is going to get the lead away from Mason Wood. But John Burton, he's looking to get, a, he's also looking to get a piece of the lead. And here comes Burton side by side. Harley will lead the lap, but looks like Burton, he's going to try to make a move on it later. And the green is still out, so he might make the move right about now. And I don't think he will. He's still battling second away from Mason Wood. And John Burton still is trying to clear Mason Wood for second as Harley. This would be good news for Chris Harley. He's pulling away. Max Skinner trying to get into the, a piece of it as well. He's going for he's going three wide for the second spot. He finished second last time at Papyrus. Uh oh, they're four wide. Um, I think they're about to go four wide there, and then many Denhart decided not to do not to risk it. Uh oh, they're still three wide. It's still wrecking Madison Denhart. He slips, flips around, and there's Team Pony around and a wreck in the back. Mason Wood is involved as well, and a lot of drivers get held up in the back. Wow, look at this! A lot of drivers flipping around! I think I think everybody back there was involved. Wow, I've never seen a wreck like that before. What a wreck. <laughs> oh man. The only survivor pretty much is I think these guys, but... <laughs> wow. What a wreck. Oh my gosh, what a wreck. Wow. Oh man. That was just amazing. That's a big wreck. Have you ever seen a wreck like that? I have never seen one like that before. <laughs> anyway, here's what happened. Here's what happened. Here's how it all start. There were three wide Mason Wood and then Clips Madison Denhart. 
Denhart somehow saved it, but Team Pony spins out Pichu. And I don't know how the other... And there's Bob Burgess. Oh, boy. Yeah, Justin Perry. The 16, Roberts. Alex Jones, Leia Walker. 51 of Olaf Manson. The 1, the 23, Dylan Young, Richards, David Ro Rochester, uh, Richard Johnson, Sky Commons. Oh, man, I just, there's so many, I can't even show a replay of one of them. Like, wow. And there's the 27 flipping around. 27 just flipped, and a lot of drivers were involved. Basically, about three-fourths of the field, if not that many, were involved. Wow. What a wreck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there was so much. I can't show replays on board with all of them, so yeah. And it looks like these top five drivers are not taking any chances. They're gonna take they're gonna pit right now to fix damage they might have had in their cars from those wrecks. And there's a lot of drivers on pit road, so I never thought that wow. <laughs> That wreck was bigger than I actually thought it would be. Wow. And there's the cars getting into the pit, into the pits. This is pretty much going to be, well, a only about a top 10 rate drivers. Only 10 drivers or less even are going to make it out alive. And here comes the pits. And let's see who gets out first. And there's Max Skinner, and there's the 10. The 10 got out first. And the 24 later, 9, 48, 88, 78. And then there's the others wrecking out as we see some drivers dropping out. There's Pichu, he's still in it. And there's 42 still in it. 42 is still in it. And there's others taking pit stops. So we'll see how many drivers exactly retired from that huge wreck. You thought Talladega provided the big one? Well, you haven't seen Ontario. It is really big. And you see a lot of them retired. Only 10 drivers. Yep, I knew it. Only the top 10 made it out alive. Only the top 10 made it out alive. The rest of the field wrecked out. Wow. Three-fourths of the field wrecked out. That's amazing. That is an amazing wreck there. Never thought that would be so big like that. My goodness. So the top ten that survived were Chris Harley, Max Skinner, John Burton, William Duncan, Austin Murillo, DJ Kirker, Pichu, Chris no wait, Jake Baskinger, Brad Johnson, and Doug Walker, Doug S. Walker, that's the sax walker, the host driver of this race. And Brad Johnson and Doug Walker, they're, with damage like that, they might have a little trouble getting into the lead, so I'm not sure if they're going to be in, even in contention of catching up to Harley. But we'll see how it works. Well, you never know, we could have another surprise on our hands. And the green is out again here at Ontario. Only ten drivers remain. And now John Burns going for the second spot. Already he's going for second. These guys, I knew it. They would not catch up to the lead. Chris Harley pulling away. Here comes Max Skinner for the second spot. And now there's now Chris Harley. He's taking advantage of these drivers and he's pulling away quick. Well, thanks to the big wreck, he's got lesser competition to deal with than bef than before. And now the 42 Baskinger looking to get into the top five. And Jake Baskinger, oh no, Austin Morello got it. 
And here comes the 88. Oh, they're bumping in the 20. Oh, wow. I thought they would be spin out and bring in another caution. Oh, no. You better be careful. Three wide is not even safe here in Ontario. Remember what happened the last wreck? And they're still racing here as John Byrne is gaining up on the 10. It's pretty much a two or three car race. Baskinger is trying to catch up to the two. And these guys are fighting for position to keep in the top five. And now G.J. Kirker is looking to get the fifth spot away. This could bring into 48 and 99 back into contention. And it will bring him into the contention. And now the 9 is gaining up on the 10. And 42 is catching up as well. Will the 9 be able to make the move? And now here comes 40 and William Duncan looking to get the 6th spot away from DJ Kirker. And Pichu's coming up as well. Here comes Pichu. And all these drivers are guaranteed top 10 finishes. If they could survive. And now Jake Baskinger has passed, has gotten J John Byrne away from second. And now Jake Baskinger has second. He's going to have to, it's going to have to be a lot more than that to take on Chris Harley. Don't know, I don't, I think Chris Harley has led every, no, no, Mason Wood led the first five, I'm sorry. But Chris Harley took the lead immediately and after the first caution. 11 laps to go and 11 laps to go. Whoa, 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 I thought they were going to meet. And there's Brad, and there's the 56, Brad Johnson, Doug Walker. Don't know if they're going to play a factor in the, in the lead. And Jake Baskinger on the bumper. He's looking to get the lead, and he's going to get the lead. Here it comes for the lead. And Jake Baskinger has to overtake Chris Harley for the lead. Uh-oh, close race for the line. Ten laps to go. It's Jake Baskinger. And Jake Baskinger has the lead. Baskinger has the lead. He's pulling away. And Baskinger, wow, he's got a good run on the turn. He's pulling away quick. And not, not much racing back here. And now Austin Morello looking to get the third spot away from the nine of John Burton. And he will get it away. And the 88 gets the lead. No, no, the third spot, I'm sorry. No, he does not, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. I'm so confused. Nine to go. Nine laps to go. And still John, and now Austin Morello, he's still looking to find a passing lane to make it, to make the move on third. And here he comes for third. Here he comes for the third spot. And no, he's not going to get enough, but Max Skinner, now Max Skinner's taking advantage. And Skinner will get that, will get that spot instead. And it'll be eight laps to go when we hit the stripe. And Jake Baskinger still pulling off to a comfortable lead. Not much passing to do besides these two drivers competing for position. And um, not much to do. Hmm. Oh wow. Sorry about that. I apologize. But anyway, it's still all about Jake Baskinger with seven laps to go.
Whoa, whoa, they got, I thought they would get loose there, but they saved it. <laughs> thought I saw they would get loose. They saved it, wow. Seven laps to go here. And he's, and he's getting, gain, well, and the 10 is just trying his best to get, to get up, to get back to the lead. The 42 was his old rider, the Pokemon. Believe it or not, Chris Harley rode the 42 in the Pokemon Cup series in Season 2. Now he's against the 42. Wow. It would be weird. So coincidental. Looks like there's not much passing here left. Doug S. Walker, I'm not sure where he is, but he's far away. Five laps, and it's going to be six laps to go. There's going to be six laps to go. And there's not much to do here except these drivers survived and it's pretty much an impressive feat and they're very far out so they're not going to play a factor the lap cars are not playing much of a factor in the um, running in the um, well in the leader so unless if Harley has to pit for some reason he might have smooth sailing we might see pit stops or something like that. I'm not sure if there would be able to take pit stops. We'll see. Five laps to go now here at Ontario as a caution might end the race. And Jake Baskinger wants, really wants that caution. So he can finally put this to rest. Here comes John Burton. He's looking to get second away from Chris Harley. And John Burton's trying his best to do that. And now would be good news for Jake Baskinger. He could pull away even more. With the passing by, he's pulling away like to about a second of a lead. And they're still side by side for a second, but Harley has hanged on. Harley hangs on. And there was a battle with Max Skinner and Austin Morello, but Morello is going to keep fourth. Now four to go for Jake Baskinger as a caution will now end the race. Next caution ends the race. Harley hangs on to second. And as for these drivers, they're long from the lead. It's been a lot more separate since that wreck earlier today. And let's catch up Brad Johnson. He is way far. He just got into the start finish line, so yep, he will not play a factor in the leader. Unless if he, again, unless if the 42 has to pit, it's smooth sailing from here. 1.7 seconds lead for Baskinger, and he might pull this away easily. And now there's going to be three laps to go when Jack Baskinger hits the stripe. Three to go for the 42. He was one of the few drivers who return, has returned for his neck for, from the first season. And I don't know if he did have wins in that in the first season, the MLP Cup Series. But he's back, he's one of the few drivers back for a second season. And now he's going to try to get a win here, finally get a win in the, in the series. He is, well, pulling off to almost a two-second lead over Chris Harley. And now John Byrne has gotten second away from Harley. He's finally gotten second away, but it might be too little too late to gain up to the lead unless, if you know, anybody pits. Because you never know when they'll pit. And now Max Skinner's looking to get third away. Now Max Skinner is playing a role here in the top five. But two laps to go for Jake Baskinger. We had a huge wreck in which three-fourths of the field wrecked out in... in and the second caution and and after that Chris Harley has just taken the lead from no Chris no Jake Baskinger took the lead from Harley and now has not looked back his lead has just increased to almost three seconds last time it was only two seconds now it's three seconds but unless if he has to pit it's all smooth sailing for the 42 And now Jake Passenger is going to come and see the white flag. One lap to go for the 42 here at Ontario Motor Speedway.
And now it is a three point, like three second lead, oh, oh, exactly. And John Burton might just hang on to keep second. And they're still battling for the top five. William Duncan looking to get into the top five and Morello is going to get past for fifth. But these guys will finish in the top ten regardless. The top ten survived from the Rex and well, not much to say about this after that. Jake Baskinger has just been dom just been the dominant car here today. Unless if he does pit, here comes the pit window. And he will not pit! Coming off the final turn, and Jake Baskinger will take the checkered flag at Ontario Motor Speedway. In dominating fashion. 3.5 seconds away from John Burton. What a race. Congratulations, Jake Baskinger, on the dominating win. And the top 10, Baskinger, John Burton, Max Skinner, Har Chris Harley, Austin Morello, William Duncan, DJ Kirker, Pichu, Doug Walker, Doug S. Walker, I'm sorry, and Brad Johnson, the top 10. And the rest of the field wrecked out. Yeah. Wow. So congrats on Jake Passenger on the dominating win. Despite the big wrecks taking out most of the top 10 in points, Gregory Coleman still holds a 13 point lead over Olga Ogo. Brad Johnson is in third thanks to that top to surviving the 10th. William Duncan is in fourth. Chris Harley fifth. John Burns sixth. Pichu seventh. Mason Wood eighth. Jacob Lawler ninth. And Olaf Manson in tenth. And if you were wondering, Brad Johnson and I think Max Skinner are the only two draw. Wait, no wait. Did Max Skinner drive in another in another car? Hold on a sec. Sorry about this, folks. Well, he did DNF one point, so... Technically, only Brad Johnson is the only driver... Brad... Believe it or not, Brad Johnson is now the... Brad Johnson, the 56, is now the last driver in the series to have no DNFs this season. And I am very surprised that Brad Johnson... I'm very surprised that after just three races, each every one driver has at least one... I'm very surprised after three races that one, that almost every driver has had one DNF. And there were others that had three DNFs that DNF'd in all three races. Brad Johnson in the 56 is the only... Brad Johnson's got to be very lucky. He is the only driver in the series without a DNF so far. We'll see if the streak can keep up. And he's still third in the standings. And the rest of the field, and here's the rest of the standings. I apologize for Luke, Max Skinner, and um, Austin Morello, and probably the 10 of Chris Harley, because I will add up the points of all both of their schemes later at the end of the series, at the end of the series, so yeah. I will add up all points, so we'll see about that. Anyway, Gregory Coleman still has a 13-point lead over Olga Ogo, and the standings are working so far. Still been clean. The next race will be at Hartpool, a.k.a. Bullet Super Speedway in San Francisco. Oh, we have raced in Bullet before and it had some intense racing, so can't wait to go back again. So we'll see you guys at Bullet and we'll see you next time.